What's up everybody? Uh, today let's talk about Samurai Showdown because they came out with a new trailer. It was kind of like a information trailer showing a bunch of new things about the game, including the release date. It's gonna be coming out on June 25th in North America. It's gonna be coming out for the PS4 and Xbox One and it retails for $59.99. So it's a standard retail price for new video games. Uh, but one thing that I thought was really, really cool is the way that they're gonna be handling DLC right out of the game. So uh, the game's gonna launch with 16 playable characters, which is a pretty decent amount for a fighting game. And the game is available for pre-order right now, and if you purchase it before June 30th, you actually get the season pass for free, which I think is a really good incentive, a really good deal for, uh, for gamers because people that wanna play the game and play it early, don't get screwed later on because of the additional DLC. If you purchase it right at the beginning, then you get the DLC for free, which is a great deal and a great incentive. I don't know exactly what's included in the season pass. All I know is that there's gonna be uh, 16 playable characters at launch and they have four DLC characters planned later. Uh, we have no idea what those DLC characters are. They could be returning or brand new characters or maybe a mixture of both. I'm really excited to see which ones they bring back uh, or what brand new designs they can come out with. It's also unclear how many season passes there's going to be. Like, is there going to be multiple seasons? Is it going to be like Killer Instinct or Street Fighter V where you just have seasons where you have uh, balance tweaks and additional characters and more DLC? Uh, we just don't know. I think it all depends on how successful the game is. If it turns out to be a huge sales flop, uh, I can't imagine they're going to keep it going, but I really don't think that'll be the case. It's going to be quite popular amongst the, the fighting game fan base. Another cool thing they showed in this trailer was the fact that the game is kind of constantly watching you. It'll watch you play through the story mode and multiplayer matches and practice, and it kind of builds a map or a ghost of yourself so that you can play against yourself and find your own weaknesses, or you can download other players' ghosts and fight against them. So it kind of reminds me of uh, Killer Instinct Shadow Mode, or what, what they call Shadow Lab in Killer Instinct, where you can basically do the same thing. You can upload your gameplay data to the cloud or the server, and then other people can download and fight against your shadow, or you can fight against your own, which is really, really cool. I love to see that mechanic added to like every fighting game moving forward. Killer Instinct did it really, really well, but the problem was that it it was pretty limited. You could only do that in like the shadow mode. Like in a shadow lab, you can upload your data or if you play a ranked match, you can upload your data. So it wasn't like proliferated across all game modes. Uh, so that's really cool. I like the fact that they're doing that with Samurai Showdown. Another interesting thing is that this game is actually a prequel. It takes place story-wise before the original 1993 Samurai Showdown game. So uh, it's like we're all starting over fresh with a brand new game. It's really, really cool. And I gotta be honest, uh, I liked the original Samurai Showdown games. I played them in the arcades whenever I was younger and I played them on the Super Nintendo. I never owned a Neo Geo system because they were super expensive at the time, but I liked the game. I thought it was a really cool, stylized, violent samurai fighting game. I mean, that was like the coolest thing back then. And uh, I wasn't super competitive with it. Like I I did play it, but I played it at more of a casual level, uh, you know, offline or just with my brothers. I never really got into the fighting and really understood all the mechanics, but uh, that's gonna change with this one. I'm really gonna try to learn and, and be my best. Uh, I haven't really gotten into a fighting game since Killer Instinct. That was the last game that I really got into. And that was five and a half years ago. I still love that game. Killer Instinct is like my all time favorite fighting game, but uh, Samurai Showdown looks to be really, really good. And I, I just can't wait. Uh, they are gonna be coming out with a Nintendo Switch and a PC version later this year. They haven't said exactly when, uh, but I, I, that's kind of a bummer. I wish that all the versions were available simultaneously. I also wish that the PC version, it's probably gonna be out on Steam. They haven't officially announced like what PC platform, but uh, more, more than likely it's going to be Steam. Uh, I would really like to see it on Windows 10 store so that it's crossed by with Xbox One. I love that feature. I freaking love that feature. I can purchase all of my Killer Instinct stuff on Xbox One and it's available on the PC to play. I don't have to buy it twice. Uh, same thing with Gears of War 4, Gears of War 5, Resident Evil 7. I buy all of them on the Xbox. They're all available on the PC. I don't have to pay anything more. I would just f flip out. I'd be so amazed. If Samurai Showdown did the exact same thing, I would love it. So last thing I want to do is pay $60 to buy it on Xbox One and then pay another $60 a few months later to buy it on PC. Uh, most of my videos that I make, uh, all the gameplay videos, are all recorded on Windows 10 on PC. So uh, if I buy it on Xbox, uh, which I intend to do, uh, just to you know get a feel for the game and see if I really love it, uh, I will be able to do some gameplay stuff, but not to the extreme, not to the extent that all my other gameplay videos have been where you can see me and see me play. Uh, my Xbox One videos are gonna be basically streamed to Twitch and then I can just you know download the stream and you know, like edit it and maybe add some stuff or 
do whatever I want with that. But the quality is not going to be very good. It's, you know, 720p, 30 FPS. It's not going to look very good. Uh, it'll get the job done, but I would really love to play it on PC. But yeah, honestly, this kind of snuck up on me because I was like, Samurai Showdown, they're making a new Samurai Showdown game. And the very first thing immediately that popped in my head was Hattori Hanzo! I never used that character, but his name just sounded really cool. And when it comes to fighting games, I must have a thing for like the, the really big guys. Like in Killer Instinct, I use Agnos. He's like my main guy. And uh, I think I'm going to be using Earthquake in Samurai Showdown, unless they come out with a really sweet DLC character that I can play later on. But uh, for now, I think my plan is to stick with Earthquake because I just, I don't know, I just love the big guys. And there's a little bit of technical details. Uh, the game was built on Unreal Engine 4, as most modern games are nowadays. They're either using Un Unreal Engine 4 or Unity, but uh, Samurai Showdown 4 does use the Unreal Engine 4, and it looks great. It kind of reminds me of, honestly, it kind of looks like Street Fighter V, which isn't a bad thing, but I was kind of hoping for a more stylized look, but I just hope that it has enough visual flair to set itself apart from Street Fighter V. Uh, there's a lot of people that casually pass by fighting games like, oh, that's Street Fighter, and they don't even give it a second look. Like, no, it's actually a whole different game called Samurai Showdown. So uh, I just hope that it, it does enough to set itself apart. Uh, Mortal Kombat 10 and 11, uh, they really do a good job of kind of setting themselves apart from, from other fighting games in terms of the visual aspects. So uh, I do like that in Samurai Showdown, you can have these moves where it like turns the background like black and white or like a monochrome color and kind of makes it more arty looking. Uh, I like that little artistic flair. And I think the game needs more of that. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited to jump into it and really start learning the system. Uh, if I if I try it out on Xbox One and I just like, you know what, this game is just not for me. You know, it's it's fun for what it is, but I if I just don't love it, I just won't buy it on PC. But if it's just like the greatest thing since sliced bread and one of the greatest fighting games in the last 10 years, then absolutely I will be, you know, purchasing it on PC and I'll be doing streams and, and recording my gameplay and all that fun stuff. Uh, on Killer Instinct, I was, uh, I am one of the top Agonos players on the leaderboards. I have one of the most uh, ranked wins. I'm in the top 10, I think. So yeah, I don't know if I'll be in the Samurai Showdown as much as Killer Instinct, but at the same time, I will definitely give it a good try, a good solid try, and I'll give you my honest opinion. Uh, I'll do a review. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more Samurai Showdown videos, or if you enjoy my other videos like Trials Rising, Shenmue 3, Killer Instinct, and more. Uh, then yeah, I'll see you in the next video and have a great day.